To draw the Lewis structure for CaI2 calcium iodide, we write calcium and then we put an iodine atom on either side. Calcium is a metal and then iodine is a non-metal. That means we have an ionic compound here. And when we have an ionic compound, the metal will transfer valence electrons to the non-metals. So calcium group two on the periodic table, that means it has two valence electrons. And then iodine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That has seven valence electrons. So we said the metal will lose electrons to the nonmetal because this is an ionic compound. So one of the calcium electrons goes to the iodine here and completes the octet around the iodine. So it has eight valence electrons. The other electron comes over here to this iodine and completes its octet. Because the calcium lost two electrons, and electrons, they have a negative charge, the calcium lost two negative charges. It now has a two plus charge. The iodines, each one of them gained an electron, so they become a negative. If you add these up, it equals zero, because this is a neutral compound. We should put brackets around the negative ion, and you'll often see brackets around the positive ion. So the positive and then the negatives, they're attracted. That's what makes the ionic bonds. We need the brackets to show that the calcium lost those valence electrons and they were gained by the iodine atoms. So the brackets show that the electrons aren't shared like in a covalent bond. They were lost and then they were gained by the nonmetals. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CaI2 calcium iodide. Thanks for watching.